here we have the three cuvettes and this is just a sample. Uh, you can see the relative color intensity from cuvette 1 to 3. And what's important about this is that I want you to see um, the difference in the sides of the, the cuvette, the plastic cuvette. You can see one part, uh, the part that is facing uh, towards the front is actually, and, and the, the front and the back is actually a uh, matte surface, that means it's rather a little bit uneven, whereas the, the surface at the side of the cuvette is clear. So that will come in uh, important when we uh, put the cuvettes in. Okay, this is what we see inside the spectrophotometer and this is where we put the cuvettes. Um, these will be the slots in which we put the cuvettes and you can see this uh, little hole at the side is where the light would come out from uh, of that particular wavelength that you set the spectrophotometer at. The light would come out and then pass through um, the, the cuvette and that's why when we put in the uh, cuvettes we have to do them with the matte surface facing forward and the clear surface facing sideways so that later on when the light comes out it can pass through the clear surface with no problem and get captured on the other side of the spectrophotometer so um, how we put it in okay, uh, this is actually this position is actually cell 1 closest to you would be cell 1 and then 2 and then 3 so I, now I'm putting in cuvettes 2 and 3 in that order. Once you have placed your cuvettes inside the spectrophotometer, close the lid and make sure that the um, display is to the main measurement page, which should look something like that with the wavelength that you're using. Okay. And all you need to do is to press the start button, which is at the bottom right hand corner, it's green. Okay, so we press it now. Once you have done that, the spectrophotometer will measure for you the absorbance at that particular wavelength. You can see the wavelength up, up here. And these are the results. Okay, actually just now we only put three cells, uh, three cuvettes in. And um, sometimes when you do this after another group has, has tried it out, you will see something like this. Now what does this mean is that the first group had these three results, these are not yours, but the ones that uh, are the latest set would be, in this case, sample 2, and these are uh, cuvettes 1, 2, 3 that we placed in, um, in order just now. After. One being closest to us and two being further away, three being the furthest away from where we were. So these are the readings that um, we should take note of, the absorbance, and you can see that um, according to, also according to what we saw visually, uh, the absorbance um, increases with colour intensity. The darker the colour is, the uh, more wavelength, uh, uh, the more light it absorbs at that particular wavelength.